Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. I just woke up in the afternoon and it's time to drink Curmudgeon IPA. Uh, it's a 6.5% ABV beer and it is at 500 milliliters. Uh, it's from uh, Grand River Brewing. Uh, in Cambridge, Ontario, and it was bottled on March the 1st, 2011. It is now April 20-something. 20, 20 um, I just got a plain red cap. I don't actually have a plain red cap, so I am going to keep this cap. Um, and yeah, just for shits, I'm going to be pouring it into this wonderful Chimay chalice. So. Beautiful. Ooh, that actually smells good. I'm a huge IPA fan. Check that out. That is undeniably a mahogany color. Um, you can see through it. I wish that my light could show that a little better to you, but it's it's almost kind of like an amber color too. Very very dark. <sighs> you got you know a pinky width finger head here. I can't even say a full finger index because it's probably like three quarters. Um, you got medium bubbles here. It sure smells like your average IPA. It kind of has like that bitter. Uh, syrupy aroma. Oh yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> now, I think the most similar that I can say that this tastes like is it actually has a reflection upon the southern tiers the Southern Tears IPA. And for those out, out there who aren't familiar with IPA means, it means India Pale Ale. Um, pour some more in here. Um, it also tastes syrupy like your typical IPA. It also has like that thick uh, impression that it puts on your tongue. Uh, also very common IPA trait. The only thing I can say about this comparing to the Southern Tier IPA <coughs> is uh, this is certainly more bitter than the Southern Tier IPA, but it also shares um, one commonality, and that's that it has like uh, this actually has a bit of a floral hop to it. Um, in the Southern Tier Indian Pale Ale is like quite the flurry, uh, floral hoppy beer. Um, oh, wow, it, this is an IPA. Um, can't 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 go wrong with that. Unfortunately, uh, out of all the IPAs that I've ever had, this really does <sighs> this really does have a bitter aftertaste. Um, that alone is really taking away from uh, my appreciation towards it. Uh, I don't really know what else more to say. Definitely pick up on all those malts. I can't name them all, but there might even be a hint of barley in there. Uh, it's actually really difficult for me to drink this fast, uh, considering the fact that I just woke up. Uh, 
this isn't one of those beers that you could chug. Um, the more and more you you drink, the the more bitter it tastes. So I'm just gonna continue sipping this. Um, I'm not really gonna finish it on camera. It's again, it's not bad. It's just it's it needs to be taken lightly. Um, I can definitely say that uh, you don't really. It does. Hmm. It does kind of taste like a six point five percent beer. Um, I'm only saying that because it is surprisingly smooth. Um, so I think the bite is what gives it away that six five six point five percent alcohol uh, content. <clears throat> huh. I'll show you the bottle a little bit more. It actually has some numbers written down at the bottom. Um, yeah, 500 milliliter, 58 millimeters. I don't know what that means. Uh, and B1. I don't know what that means. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Anyways, it's not bad. It's worth giving it a try. Like. It's not a it's not a bad beer. Um, if you do not like IPAs for that bittersweet aftertaste, this is not the one. This one's <clears throat> one among others in that go ahead category. <laughs> All right, everybody. What am I gonna rate this beer? I should finish it and rate it first, but uh, considering the fact that I'm a one taker. Um, I'm giving it a, a fresh review. Um, unfortunately, because of that bitter aftertaste, I'm going to have to knock it down a few notches. Um, I'm probably going to give it a 2.2 <coughs> out of 5. If that bitter, really bad, bittersweet aftertaste wasn't there, I'd probably give it a fair 2.8. It really does have an impact on the beer and it's going to be the difference between whether people actually like this beer or not, um, which is <clears throat> completely understandable because this isn't one of those beers that would be on the shelves at LCBO often. Uh, you can't find it everywhere. It really is a, an acquired taste, an experimental beer. All right. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly and have a nice day.